to open form line. Number two, number one, number four, number three. It's like it. Hello guys, welcome back to Join Coder. Today we continue to next episode. So today we will continue to upgrade our projects on bookstores. After we get a login already, so we continue this step to design, create the main form to standard form. Okay, so let me delete this and delete the action from this. Or yeah, we no need more. And we change the form to main form. So let me change here to center. Yeah, single. And this point is the main. And here, we change here to just it is for the main form. Okay. So um, get the max. Okay, and change here. Okay, so let's start. A menu. I use a tools tip menu and let's add the uh, button here. And I have to try. Uh, okay, I add first is item and I change here to text and image. And one more thing is change to the image and stock. And add one more is one more thing is setting. Okay. And all we can add image. Okay. Let me choose um, one thing is setting. I put here. I choose here. And stock. I choose this one and item which is this one and now we have right now we have this menu like this but it looks small right so we can add uh, some setting like a uh, feature font so you can change whatever you want but i choose this one this font and other thing is i want to change image background so i will repeat this image here and let me choose a small one okay i choose this one and like this if you show like this and one more is if i want to change color to fit my background and i can change to this one okay i change to this one to blue okay so let's run again and we get menu like this okay now we continue to next step we have we want to have a less menu with um, okay i check if i need to have a panel yes have a panel here and i change the table i change the panel some property like uh, those into here yeah i need a side like this yeah okay and i want to change color to Okay, and change to here, I get the dark stick gray. Okay, and let's choose this one. And one more thing, I want to dynamic menu in here. If I want to dynamic menu, I need to write class, I need to add tables layout. Okay, now let me add this one and remove the throw like a lump and to small. Change it to small like this. Okay, and right click, change the name to TBS menus and change this one to P so menu. Okay, now we have nothing, it just show like this, and then we get we want to get a menu from a database. Okay, so let's start to step by step. We just have the form and then we need to add action from this to generate menu. So I need to create a new class. Okay. And I can create here class. Class name is I put button underscore the name. Okay. And this button class the class I need to extend from button. Okay. 
and let me copy the same property from here I don't want to write again because it's a lot and I will provide the code to the public okay and we will get um, some error we can place like this and to play this one to this one the, our class public okay so now we have the class so let me be here we have the class so we need to call the class to use into here we need to use into the form so let me enter and then copy some code from here and I will explain you step by step into here and the function it calls to add menu when we get the data from the database we need to add to our panel so now let me correct this one I change here to dynamic okay Pay this one this also yeah import okay now we have this function it waiting to get or add menu into our layout okay so I need to start from this step and actually we have from the button we have the class yes we need to have the class into yes okay import this one more there is no need so I need only one parameter is yes. profile ID so one I put like this Okay, and one more thing is connection actual 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 equal new connection actual. Then finish. Yes. Now we need to create procedure. We put procedure name is get menu. Okay. Now we copy this swan to create our procedure so right click to create and put the name change to procedure here is change to PL progress actual ok let's start source code and start to write in I need to write here profile ok I need to get profile is char and one more thing is in off and what is to get back we need to get a result back is get underscore result and the data is kosher okay and start to write code here and open get result results for and I have write script in here and let me copy to into this one okay and I will create three menu one is POS constock and purchase okay then save the diary oh I have something wrong in here yeah okay save then let to run again in here let me test okay log in and then okay now we get three menu here and we want to assign this to our dynamic menu here okay so let the call and menu and put here the data ball because parameter number one is the data ball and here is TBL's menu okay and then let's start uh, it, it's so like this it is the menu if we want to add the new menus here I can add in my database just add like this and action okay add like this and change the name to here is 
because okay, and here is number four and then save here yes and log in again like this it's so like this it is dynamic menu if we want to we just move our procedure to collect from my table it is complete right it is complete because it is now it can get from a table and we can get action yes we can get action from this one example now i want to get a name yes we get the action include here go here and we get okay this one i want to use this not sure when we get id we can to open form right? number two number one number four number three it's like it okay now i will create dynamic table from the database is complete thank you for watching